Hi friends! Welcome back to another Eager Mondays video. If you are new here, thank you so much for checking out my channel and welcome! My name is Jed and I am the Eager Vlogger. So for today, we are going to do a budget and goal review. Um, this is something that I'd like to do every end of the month to see how we did for our month's budget, the goals that we've set, and then we will also set new goals for the coming month. Um, for this video though, we are uh, a little bit late. We are already on September 4th, but that's okay. This is our first um, budget and goal review for the month of August actually. And by the way, it is, so sep sep September 4th is Labor Day here in Canada and the US. So happy Labor Day to everyone. And yeah, I am going to warn you though that this is going to be a very, very long video. So if you don't like very long form content, so this is probably not a video for you. Um, but let me know, do you like having to watch these kinds of videos, goal setting? And maybe next time I can probably split this into two or move the budget review into our budget with me videos like close out the last month before doing the next budget um so that we can just like uh, minimize the length of this video but anyway i hope you enjoy and i hope you stay tuned if if you'd like to follow along my journey in here we will do this monthly please do subscribe to my channel and like this video and yeah let's jump right into our august budget review All right, so this is our August spreadsheet. And um, the other day I posted on my Instagram the summary of our paycheck one and paycheck two, just this uh, table here and the pie chart um, showing like the entire allocation of our budget or our income. So uh, for the first part or for the first paycheck uh, of the month, we usually get more than the second paycheck because I am able to contribute here my VA side hustle. So my side hustle only ranges for $100 to $200 depending on how much I worked for the from the previous month. But we usually use that to put in our debt payment or especially in our sinking funds. So that's a good help. And so for this paycheck, we received the usual from my partner's full-time job, my VA side hustle, and uh, the refund from my daughter's daycare. Um, early last month, we got approved for her childcare subsidy, and her daycare decided to just give us like a check as a refund for her for the months that were subsidized prior so that's that was a great help and it was a wonderful timing because our goal for the month of august is to pay off one of our consumer debt or one of our credit cards so what i did is i took all that entire amount and my va side hustle amount put it all in our credit card payment so you'll see that here in our debt payoff 600 and that was a very good start for us uh, for our savings and investments so the usual amount that we put here is 20 dollars every paycheck so it's quite small but it's consistent so far but you'll see on our emergency fund i just put 10 dollars here i decided that once we reach 100 dollars on these savings accounts at least for now, once we reach that 100 mark, I will um, lower it to half, like our paycheck contribution. So for emergency fund, we already reached 100 here. So on the first paycheck of August, I just put $10 there. So I know it's not enough. I know $100 is not even enough for an emergency, but we're starting with very very low income at the moment and we're a family of three i'm going i'm still studying and i have also school fees and 
all of those stuff so we're trying to at least reallocate some of our money into those expenses so that we won't go back to credit card debt so that's the plan there for personal dad and butchi we are yet to reach 100 so i'm still putting 20 on this paycheck and since we also received extra money for this time i took the advantage um i took advantage and put more towards our sinking fund especially on our high priority funds which are christmas future clothing and month ahead so uh, the main priority for us is christmas our goal here was 300 is 300 dollars but it will not for sure cover everything that we will spend during christmas time but at least we have this amount later on to buy gifts for our families so here in canada we have my aunt and her family our cousins and i want to give um gifts to at least everyone that's kind of like one of my love languages giving gifts especially on christmas um, no matter how small the gift would be i just really love giving um, to everyone so i'm trying to reach that goal as soon as we can so that uh, we can also focus on our other goals and for the low priority sinking funds i just put five dollars on each i do like to at least put something on each category rather than skipping them so five dollars if it's not really in the budget or not very prior priority it's not a priority then i just give it five dollars so that's what we did there and for our fixed bills and subscriptions well they don't really change so you just see them ticked off when i already paid them so this will just remain the same month to month but we do have some bills that are on our first paycheck and not in the second paycheck so we try to divide our bills into those paychecks that we receive every month and again we have the credit card payment here and for our variable expenses i'm so happy for this month we did not over like we did not go over our budget but we actually did have rollovers no <laughs> leftovers so you see our groceries my personal i just hit it right on with the budgeted amount so if it's in black it means like it's just equal the amount we didn't go over we didn't um, have leftovers but for that um, he had a rollover of ten dollars eating out has a rollover of one dollar family has five dollars so all of these leftovers that we have i set it aside i did not spend it yet or reallocate them i set them aside and we will see where we will put them during our cash stuffing like our next cash stuffing video so that would be fun because this is kind of like the first time having leftover if you saw our july review we actually did the negative like by hundreds so that's where part of our credit card that came from um <clears throat> having to go over our budget amount so we have 23 here see and now let's see paycheck two so for the second half of the month we didn't really have a lot of activities here we actually pulled out all of our sinking fund amount and savings here um, not only the budgeted for this paycheck but also whatever is saved in our sinking funds and our savings i pulled them all out and threw it on our credit card so that means this uh paid off our credit card this month so i am very happy that we were able to reach our goal of paying off one of our credit cards and even though we are going to start over for September, it makes it lighter for us because we have one less debt in mind, like the interest rate every month and um, the minimum payments that we're just 
trying to put there so it's very it was very helpful and i'm very happy for that decision but again second paycheck we only received my partner's um full-time payout and i just have like a tiny bit of extra payout from my gic 30 dollars. i put it here just to maximize our um, income stream and our budget so fixed bills are the same um, i do buy my or reload my bus pass every end of the month so that's an extra subscription here and for our debt payoff our ph debt i sent 120 dollars in the philippines this is our philippines insurance actually it's not really a debt but um my partner my partner and i are reviewing this if we should continue um paying for it or withdraw and stop our fund there uh, because we want to focus on our financial journey here in canada for now and then we can think about our investments left in the philippines um, we do want to finish our debt incurred here in canada when we started and when we move to our apartment so we want to finish that off so that um yeah it will be easier for our family um so we're reviewing that but i still sent 120 for the month of august and for our variable expenses um these are lower amounts as well just because i took out some amount put it in the credit card and you can see like the budget and the actual are the same for now because um, now that we've already uh, caught up with our budget and we don't have to use our card to um, for our variable expenses our budget from the second paycheck of august will be used for the first two weeks of september so to match that or to be able to balance the budget, I just made sure that the actual amount should be the same with the budget amount. So I put it, I put it in our transaction log because this calculates, our transactions log calculates the total amount spent for each category. So for now, we are expecting to live within this amount for the first two weeks of September. So I put it here to balance our actual here. But as we go on through September, I'm going to uh, track our expenses and see if we are actually going to uh, be within this amount or if we'll have leftovers afterwards. So yeah, that's basically our August budget. And I'm pretty happy, honestly. Like, this is a very good and positive decision and budget compared to our last month's budget. So now let's go to our August goals, review how we did on them, and then set up a new or set up new goals for the month of September. All right, so now we are going to look at our August goals. And in this Eager Mondays videos, what we're going to do is we will review the previous month's goals, see how much we accomplished, and we will then set up the new month's goals. So this goes for our personal, family, health, finance, and now we have TV budgets here or my YouTube channel and my ig account so this is my passion project that i want to add up um, in my monthly goals so let's just quickly review um, again like what i said we will i will share with you guys my personal family and health goals but our main focus for these videos are our finance or our money goals and then the tev budgets goals so the first one for personal read one book from tbr list or to be read list <laughs> tongue twister i did this and the book that i read this month is the only one left by riley sager so this is i just finished this by august 31st so this is actually a very good book guys it's like thriller 
a thriller murder mystery book um also found or like also recommended by carter sully so i love that and next is submit requirements for driver's license we did not do this and i am very bad at this because i've been trying to do this for two months now <laughs> and i i keep uh procrastinating on this one so next month i'm still gonna put this in our next month's goals but it's not actually more of a goal anymore i would have to push myself to do this and it's already like a task a priority that i need to do next month we are doing that with um my family or I, my partner because both of us needs to do that so no on this and then family i also need to follow up our family's manitoba health cards they i was able to process them way back but we're like at the end of the process already and i just have to follow up to finalize that but i wasn't able to do that this august one family day out of the house we do technically have family day every sunday since um, everyone's available everyone's free to hang out but i want something out of the house just so that we can um, take advantage or make use of the remaining summer season here in canada because i know for sure once the cold season starts we are we would not like to go out anymore so this is actually good a pretty good one for us um we had more than one family day out of the house we went to where did we go actually this august we were able to go to the amazing corn and uh, we visited the forks um, we also did the real escape canada um, us adults so my baby uh, stayed with my aunt <laughs> she babysitted my baby and us adults with my cousins went to the real escape canada it was fun so yeah we are very good with uh, this goal for the month of august health still doing same guys like i could not accomplish all of my health goals especially this don't miss breakfast if i say here miss breakfast every day then i would have completed this goal i have to accept that i am not really a breakfast person so i eat of course but it's already like brunch or by lunch time i eat when i'm hungry but i'm not consistent into like having breakfast breakfast you know so i'm just gonna accept that fact and uh, stop putting it in my goals because every month i just keep crossing it out so complete weekly vitality challenge this is from my philippines um, insurance there's like um, a weekly health challenge like um, you complete some certain amount of steps and then they give you like a bonus uh, gift card like that i did this this month but I don't think I'm going to continue this next month on. Um, I'm. We are reviewing this. This is like a life insurance and investment fund that my partner and I are reviewing to either withdraw or stop for the moment. Uh, just so we can focus on our finance here in Canada rather than still sending money on the Philippines for this. And last is drink more water. Um, this is mostly for like in the morning i must say um i wanted to create the habit of drinking water first before coffee i'm a coffee lover so like coffee is non-negotiable for me i have to take one or two cups a day but i want to make the habit of at least drinking water first like in the morning before actually having my coffee i think i did this like i'm i'm actually pretty good with this habit already like it's becoming automatic with my body and it it feels uh, good and now we are on the finance and tv budgets for august so the first one for our money goal is to pay off one credit card and i am very very happy to update you guys in this one so on our last video we did not do our 
regular cash stuffing for the second paycheck of August because we focused all of our funds, even our saved um, sinking funds and our savings. We took all of those money out to pay off our credit card. This is like credit card number one on our debt payoff journey. But it is so fulfilling and i'm so happy that we were able to do that last month even even though we had to take out all of our sinking funds and we had to start over it is actually very nice to be starting september with one less credit card in our debt payoff um list so that is nice um but with this one we were not able to do the second which is keep $100 on our checkings account um, this is fine though I know that I don't think we will be able to do this until we are like at least until we are done with our credit cards um, debt like we have to finish first our credit cards before we can actually save up for this one hundred dollars sitting on each of our accounts so this is fine i'm gonna park this goal for now and then we're gonna focus on the debt payoff cash only month uh we mostly did this i want to say like 80 percent but uh we we had two non-cash transactions video last month i think so that means we used our debit card um to do some transactions and then we just paid it off with our cash from our envelopes but it is not a cash only month for us then so i'm gonna be honest and i'm not gonna check that off all right and then for this month we added tev budgets in our goal setting my first uh, goal here is to have regular uploads on YouTube. At first, we we did um, every Thursday, which we are doing for our budget with me and our cash stuffing regularly every Thursday. And now we also added, was it half of the month or and like close to the end of this month we added our eager mondays video so this is one of the videos that you'll see every monday and um this is just like um additional content still financial related uh topics or anything that i i kind of do like behind the scenes other than the budget with me and cash stopping so this i do also every month and now i want to share with you guys how i reset or how i set my goals every month so this i uh, i think i'm i did pretty good there and then i wanted to have ig post or story at least once a week mm, i think i did try this yes i want to say i did but uh, for september i want to have like a more a regular posting schedule or like a defined schedule for the whole month both on my youtube and my ig and then last is to purchase a printer for etsy products this is just a trial or actually this is just a lame excuse i really wanted a printer for myself um, i do have an etsy shop i opened it um when i also started my youtube but it's I'm not really focused on it right now. I put there my, I listed there my budget planner or, or my spreadsheet, my budget spreadsheet. And I think what I'll just do there for now is I will list my, like if I create my own trackers and my own savings challenges, anything that I use for my budgeting that I can actually list there or share it with you guys for a very, very low price, then I'll just do it. I'll just list it there. Um, nothing very big, nothing to actually uh, expect some big revenue on it because I cannot compete with how good other sellers are <laughs> in Etsy, uh, how they do. I actually want to buy a lot of other products from from other sellers there so i'm not gonna beat myself up 
going into Etsy and um, expecting like a big revenue out of it but I did not buy a printer I probably will soon for my own arts and craft things yeah so this is how I, our August looks like um, pretty good at least we were able to accomplish from each of the categories and even though in the finance or our money goal we only did accomplish one this is the biggest one and i feel way way more accomplished out of everything here so that's a very good one and now we can go to september and set up our september goals so i already wrote down uh, my personal family and health goals just because um, we're just going to talk about them briefly and then we're going to set our finance and TEV budget goal later on. So for September, our quote for the month is, think big, positive, and smart. So I feel very positive for this month. We are um, starting over with our sinking funds, with our savings, but let's look at the big picture like we were able to pay off one debt from like in august and now we are kind of starting fresh uh, with our financial journey and that is that's it that is what matters most um just bring in the positivity throughout it all so that let's go to our um personal goals so I hope you can see it properly actually. So for personal, number one is I want to set up a fixed work-life balance schedule. What this means is um, I just have to make it a habit for myself to um, know, know my limit when it comes to working. Sometimes when I get too focused or to like passionate on doing something i tend to set aside everything else so even my personal one like if i wanna if i should be resting by now if i re am really focused on doing my videos or my planner i will just um forget about that and just keep on working so this month at least i want to learn how to maybe time block my day or my weeks just so that i don't get burned out or of course i don't neglect other parts of my life as well so that's one and then for my morning routine i want to add i, I really have a pretty good morning routine by now but i want to add um, no phone until ready for coffee so this is a bad habit that i want to remove or eliminate which is uh, mindless scrolling on my phone when i first wake up when my alarm goes off i pick up my phone and then i go straight to social media and scroll on it for like i can go up to an hour or more and that takes like a lot of time like a lot of wasted time so my rule would be i will not use my phone until i'm ready for coffee and ready for coffee that means i'm already um i already got ready for the day i've showered i changed my clothes and everything else and then i get my coffee so my phone can wait until then and then for another one is i want to read another book from my tbr list so this is kind of like a way for me to uh, also steer away from social media and too much work because like i have something else to do um aside from the digital world so next is in our family um like what i said before we are going to hopefully get our manitoba health cards this month so I'm going to follow up and find what is still missing there so that we can get that. And we are also going to fo focus and finish or like get started with our driver's license process. 
we only need to actually submit our requirements guys and it's so bad um because i keep procrastinating and doing that so i have to like push myself out the door submit these requirements and have our theory test scheduled so that's that and another family day out of the house one would be enough i guess like september i feel like by end of september it's gonna start to get cold so i want to have one more um family day out and for the health side hydrate more i want to continue being more focused on this like um, drinking more water especially in the morning when i wake up and taking daily supplements i bought some vitamins last month which contributed to my credit card bill <laughs> so i need to take them regularly uh, for my health and for not wasting those money guys so that and then i have to get back to consistent morning routine so i did have this good morning routine that i'm doing but when i had my one week off or like um yeah it's like a week off from school last month um i kind of uh stepped back on this one so like i I was waking up a little bit later and um with that i am missing my hour to myself and things like that so i want to get back to that consistent morning routine like same time waking up i'll do my journal i do my planner and all those stuff so yeah that's for my health side mental health physical health emotional health so now we can go to the finance and the tev budgets plan and i have here my highlighters so number one let's start with the finance side this month since we are starting over but we have um goals to reach by end of the month i mean sorry end of the year so we really have to focus on our money goals and number one would be to save 150 on our christmas fund so we took out all the money here last month we were supposed to reach 100 dollars, but we took it out and i want to catch up on this on our budget with me video next time we are going to put here probably put here our whole height uh, side hustle money or if not we're just gonna really try to catch up on this amount and i want by end of september to have at least 150 like half of the the goal that we want to have for this christmas and next would be I want to try i have never tried this but i want to try for this month to have 10 no spend days and this is only for my personal spending so like in my allowance i want to try push myself to have no uh, like 10 no spend days at least for the whole month um so that whatever money i save from this i can put in my self-care envelope or in my tev budgets saving money for that and the last one would be to avoid going over budget on our variable expenses so last month we or actually we usually go over budget on our variable expenses especially with the groceries and our eating out family fun we usually go over budget um and i think part of that is because we had some bills on our credit card that we're trying to catch up with so we're losing some amounts on our expense like our budget but now that we're we've paid off the credit card that we use for our variable expenses we will have the full amount budgeted for these categories so we shouldn't be going over budget anymore and that's one of our goal to make this month 
right? Now let's go to our TV budgets. This is again my passion project, my YouTube channel, um, and my Instagram. So in YouTube here, I am the eager vlogger, but in um, Instagram, my name is TEV Budgets. So TEV is the eager vlogger <laughs> and budgets. So for my YouTube channel here, I want to reach 100 subscribers. So I am hoping to reach this at least by end of the month. I am in no rush. Um, that's why I'm already around, I think, on 70 by the time that I'm doing this. But I don't want to, like, over overshoot the numbers or, like, yeah. I think I'm just going to try and reach 100. More would be better, of course. But I'm also not focusing on the numbers. But this means, this just means that I'm going to make sure that i do regular uploads and i stay on my um schedule stay accountable in doing content to reach my subscribers my goal subscribers next is to have so this is now for my ig have regular posting schedule for my ig i want to learn how to balance um these two platforms so youtube would have my long form content and most of the i most most of my content actually because i like sharing stuff and i'm quite talkative i do talk a lot <laughs> in these kinds of videos but on ig i want to have some kind of like it's mostly photos here i just started learning about reels but it could be like a memory bank like in photo style on my ig so i want to do that as well and the last one is to for our um eager mondays video i want to plan more informational or actually more of the experience based um content just like just like what i've uh uploaded last time i believe i think like with our debt payoff or how how are we planning to pay off our credit card so things like that like what decisions do you have to make for your own financial journey so yeah i want to plan more of those kinds of videos because i know that it would be helpful for me if i'm the one watching or I would be able to relate so i also want to see those kinds of videos out there because it gives me motivation it tells me that i might not be the only one experiencing these kinds of challenges so it's helpful in a way for me and i want to share that as well like in my own perspective our own experience so that's my goal for my um, passion project or my youtube so guys if you have some ideas or topics in mind that you want us to talk about here in our eager mondays videos if you have things that you need help with explaining things like that about sinking funds about um starting a zero-based budget especially for low-income earners um just leave your ideas down in the comment section below and i would very very much appreciate that and we can cover those topics that you would like to see here. So this is how our September goals look like. Um, we will try, maybe we can do like a mid-month check-in on these ones. Or whenever we reach one goal out of these, then we you will see the update on my IG. Or yeah, I'll let you know whenever we do our videos here in youtube as well so we will see this one we will see this done and review this um these goals by end of the month and i'm hoping for a very positive month ahead um, i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it gave you some ideas inspiration to 
um, set your goals or like to keep yourself motivated in achieving whatever goals you have for the year or for the month and i hope um if you did like this please do like click the like button and subscribe to my channel to follow along my journey here and yeah that's about it i'll see you again next time guys thank you for watching bye